My name is Lisa Chakowsky, and I work for Turnstone Center for Children and Adults with Disabilities. At Turnstone, I work in the finance department and I am an accounting assistant. I have a visual impairment and it's called cone rod dystrophy. It's in the macular degeneration family. And this visual impairment I've had since birth and it affects my vision in different ways. I don't have any central vision. That means I use my peripheral vision to see the things I can see. I see things basically on the black, white, and gray scale. I'm also very light sensitive and have uh, contrast sensitivity issues. How that impacts me is I have to use a magnifier to read purchase orders and receipts. I also use the Windows computer, I'll use Windows Magnifier to help me to enlarge what's on the screen and also create a different background so I invert the colors on my computer and that helps take some stress off my vision and I can see what's on the screen a lot better. My first jobs were pretty, were pretty normal for a teenager. I did some babysitting, but then I actually started working for some different summer programs that helped blind and visually impaired teenagers have a, a college-like experience. Through my experience of working in the field with folks with visual impairment and blindness, I was exposed to a very unique but fun sport called goalball. It's a Paralympic summer sport. When I began playing goalball, I was able to meet other professionals with a visual disability who were teachers and lawyers and information technology specialists. They were successful professionals out in the world working with their visual impairment or blindness. And that was a very, very great learning point for me and teaching moment that I could use to, to figure out my own path. I've been playing goalball for over 20 years. I've been to six Paralympic games. I've medaled in five Paralympic games as well. I won a silver medal in discus. And as part of the goalball team, we, we won silver in Athens, gold in Beijing, bronze in Rio. And then just most recently in 2021, Summer Paralympic Games in Tokyo, our team won the silver medal. It was, it was a very proud moment to be on the podium with those ladies and our, and our coach. This is the Paralympic logo, it's the Ajitos. And those Ajitos mean body, mind, and spirit. And on the back, they actually have Tokyo 2020 in Braille. Um, and again, the logo of the Ajitos representing the Paralympics. Being an elite level athlete, I have been able to, to take a lot of the expectations that I'm held to and bring it over to the professional side of, of working for an agency or organization. I believe that you need to have a passion for what you do to be successful. And so take that time to, to figure out what are my passions, what do I love to do, and then build a career path based on those passions. If you don't feel like you're ready to, to go on to a formal college education after high school, take that time to try different careers and meet other, other people in careers, job shadow, do internships. Just see what's out there and, and see what's gonna really pique your interest to again, to, to gain that passion. I feel like that's really important for people to know is that anyone with a disability or anyone without a disability, you, you, if you have a dream, go for your dream. But think about being realistic about your dream. 